Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Boozer here. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you guys are having a good start to the weekend. Um, in today's video, we're going to go over a feature that I recently discovered for RSL Helper. It's a huge, huge benefit for completing your Hydras. So if you are, uh, you know, I'm sure the majority of people out there that really struggle with the time commitment of doing Hydras every week, I'm pretty sure this feature is for you guys, so stay tuned. I'll go over everything you guys need to know in this video. Alrighty, so let's hop over to the Hydra boss content here. So I got three fresh keys going on. Whatever difficulty you guys choose, so let's say I'm going to choose Nightmare here. If you guys have a preset team, that's going to be helpful uh, because this feature is going to be using the auto feature. Uh, so you'll be auto completing your runs. So let's pick Nightmare. Uh, I have a team here that's been preset, so if you guys don't know how to preset, uh, go to team setup make sure you guys set up your team here um so for my team specifically i just um shut shut off uh husk is a3 so he doesn't use it so he uses only a1 or his max hp aoe so we're going to select that team so here is the team make sure it's all um preset like i said and then you guys can pick up the rsl helper tool uh, i can leave a description in the comments below but this is a massive time saving tool from Farbstoff, uh, him and his team maintained this tool. Um, so it's a huge, huge benefit to the community. Um, but recently, they've implemented a new feature into this RSL helper. So this yellow uh, pen uh, icon here. So if you can click that, you're gonna enter into this content wizard, choose your content area. In here, you're gonna choose the Hydra content. So click the Hydra, I've already clicked it. So we already had the um, images here. So it's down here, it says set your requirements. So here you can actually set what you want your damage to be for this team. So once your team clears that damage, it will stop the run and then allow you to basically collect the damage on the key. Um, it will automatically run this team for as long as it's going to take until it hits the desired damage uh, that you have selected. So here you go auto target damage. You can pick auto target damage and then click some and then type in something ridiculous like 500 million or you know 900 million or whatever and then basically the run will continue running until you hit the desired amount uh if you never hit it then it's just going to keep going um, the other thing is you can do is auto select uh whatever damage it takes you to complete your chest so for example if we're just doing nightmare just doing the minimum damage you just click nightmare max and then that's all you need 36.6 and then one once it hits this damage your your run's gonna be stopped and then you can basically confirm that you're gonna accept that damage um, so after you click the auto da target damage select your target damage amount whether it be a you know chosen amount or whatever amount it takes to get top chest you pick you click apply requirements and then you can click this green play button make sure your team is set on auto this is something that actually messes up your run make sure it's set on auto so you click click the green arrow and it's going to go so your team's going to run full auto uh, like i said until it hits the desired damage threshold that you selected um and yeah this is a great feature for people that don't have time to commit um you know playing hydra especially if you're trying to chase um especially if you're trying to chase really high damage um, it's also really good if you just need to do like the minimums um, for the week. Um, and it's also really good to test out teams that maybe you've had really good success with one time, but you can't commit the time again to try to run that team again. So let's say, for example, you knew a team had the potential to perform really, really well, but you don't have the time to fish, basically fish for that run. So with this, you can just set the damage that you need and then just walk away go about your day go to work go have you know go out um you know live your life come back and hopefully you hit the damage that you have selected i know a couple clan mates of mine have um, already hit personal best with their uh, auto target damage so they exceeded the threshold and then they collect the the new damage uh, that they they got from the hydra so it's a great tool huge time saver um Let's see, I'm going to show you guys something else here. Oh, quick comment here. Um, if you guys are experiencing 
some finickiness with this feature. It could be because you're running multiple instances. So for myself, I run two accounts on RSL Helper. It is a little bit finicky, and this is one of the fe features that have some, you know, have some nuances to it. Um, so if you want to make sure that your run is good and RSL Helper will auto run your run, basically, um, before you walk away, end the battle. So start a run. Make sure all your all your settings are set. Start a run. End the battle. And then if RSL Helper is working properly, it will auto start this. So there you go. Perfect. It's running perfectly. So now you can walk away, you know, confidently knowing that RSL Helper will keep your game running. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys a team that uh, fails and then we'll have the helper restart the team. So, so far I've only been showing you um, teams that have their run ended and what that looks like. So in this one, we'll show you this team that's just going to fail and then we'll have the helper um, basically restart the run for them so here um, same thing starting from the beginning we'll go yellow marker auto set the damage i'm going to set hydra max apply requirements and then we're going to click go so even if you don't have an aura it just picks your aura for you it uh, still starts to run so what i've noticed actually if your run ends too quickly um, i believe um, plarium will set up a warning actually that some kind of error in the game so there must be some kind of um, protection uh, against Hydra run starting too quickly. So if your runs are failing instantly, um, then you probably need a better team, first of all. And um, Plarium will, will probably send up a, an error report, which will probably stop the helper that way. So here we see my team, it lasts 30 seconds. But because our helper is on and Hydra is going to run, you see it's going to restart the match and then it shows you a nice last achieved damage here so it shows you a little bit of a log um and yeah it shows you how many attempts you got going on and how long your average run was so it's actually pretty interesting just to give you a little bit more uh context and uh, a little bit more stats on how well the team is doing like i said this is an excellent excellent uh, feature that's going to save people a ton of time it's going to make you um a little make hydra a little bit more bearable for most people i think um, and you know, it could, like I said, give you a new personal best. So if you're on the fringe of getting top chest and you don't have time to try to get, uh, higher numbers, then this could be the answer for you guys. So hopefully it, it's, uh, it's helpful. Um, one last little tip I want to give you guys with the helper, just in case you guys are wondering, uh, you guys can run multiple games or instances of, um, of uh, player and play with RSL helper you just have to click this little plus button here at the top next to uh, your tab um, and then once you click that um, your player and play will close and then reopen once it reopens you just log into your second account and once you log in RSL helper will pick it up and then you'll have two tabs so basically at that point you can uh, you can uh, toggle between the two tabs so you have the two two accounts now um, being tracked by RSL Helper, and of course you can do you know separate things on both. Um, but a word of warning, it's not 100% foolproof. There are some buggy things about it, uh, especially with uh, when it comes to like rolling gear, like artifact enhancements, um, or any kind of um, general gear inventory management. I find that uh, it leads to some crashes, and there's some bugs going on with it, but. Um, so it's not perfect and I think they know about it and it's never really been perfect So it's probably just something that's uh, a little bit harder or more time-consuming to deal with but everything else like running the auto farms um, And you know any kind of training is actually very very straightforward and works quite well So anyways guys, hopefully that's gonna be helpful to you guys Like I said look you can see right now like the runs gonna run over and over and over uh, I don't know how many runs it's been. It's been like four or five runs already um, but yeah, this is a great feature. Let me know in the comments below if you guys knew about this, if you guys use it already, or if this video helped you guys uh, figure out this new feature. I know I only recently figured this out because I've always manualed my runs, but uh, lately I've been running short on time, so having an auto feature is very nice. Um, anyways, guys, that's it for me in this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.